Okay, so hello again. A new night, I may say, and a new project. You see, I have this bank of batteries, 12 volts, 250 amps. I was trying to hook it to my son GTIL limiter inverter. This is on grid inverter. And uh, I was trying so hard, you know, different possibilities, but uh, even in series is not working well. So, okay, I just gave up the, the project. But in the meantime, I was thinking about experimenting something. I have one of these step up inverter. So this one should uh, have 12 volts in and will deliver around 35, 36 or something and they are saying 150 watts. Well, I don't think so. It's worth to try. I want to apply this one in between my 12 volts batteries and the entrance of GTIL right up there. Okay. So let me try to do that. Okay, so I put this little inverter right here on the fan. I have a fan behind, you see the fan is running a little bit and I'm gonna have the temperature sensor hooked up in here because I, I'm really sure it will be a lot of heat involved in this process. But the point is that I want to know, the point is that I want to know if the, if the idea is working. That's the most important thing. Yes, we have some light now. First of all, let me check the, now let me check the voltage out of this little inverter. Because it has to be more than 24 volts. We have 22.5 volts. I think I need some more, so let's make it a little bit higher or as high as possible. 29, 32, 33, 34. Okay, 34 volts. Let's make it 34. Okay, there we go. So this one now it's working on, it's giving out 34 volts. Let me have the temperature sensor. Where is the diode? Which of them is the diode? I don't know. I don't care. I just put one of them. So this is the temperature sensor, the fan temperature sensor. I put it like this and let's go up the fan. It's working and now we should hook it up to Sun GTIL, the minus first. And let's do some things over here, like to have the display always on. Save changing, yes. And now we have a display all the time because I want to see the reaction. So the little inverter is there on the fan. I already hooked up minus and now it's time to hook up plus Oy. and we got 33 volts over there going down to 22 but it's delivering 75 watts this is nice okay that should be enough. Let's see. It's hot? Not yet. Okay, let's go for farther. It's no problem with, uh, with this kind of voltages. And there we are. 77 watts. What do you think about that? So that means I can use somehow the batteries to deliver some power over here. But let me check the temperature now. Disconnect. Well, it's pretty okay. 78 watts. So it's working. 
How long? I don't know. Let's see. Well, it's really working. And it's not very hot. Let me see. Okay, so let me see how many amps we got over here. Almost 10 amps. So the inverter is taking like 10 amps from the batteries. And now let me see the batteries voltage. So we got 11.4. Oh, this is bad. Okay, that doesn't really matter. The idea is that this uh, this trick, I may say, it's working. Let me see. And it's well, it's hot, but not too hot. I think we have a better cooling. You know, this kind of little. Uh, converter or inverter in fact with uh, double diodes and MOSFETs and something we uh, applied to a better heat sink it can deliver easily 150 maybe 200 watts of power and then the idea is that I can use the 12 volt battery after after down with a kind of relay or something and to get some more juice for the night uh, okay so half hour later and uh, it's still working okay almost the same power and I have some things to say about so I said before that we have the battery is to 11.6 volts okay that's true because these wires are very very thin so it's not enough power I mean it's not enough uh, current through the wires but if I measure the voltage to the main line the main battery line there we are 12.02 and this is good this is very good so let me measure the current again so we have 9.62 amps almost 10 amps yeah so we have almost 10 amps from the batteries to the sun inverter all I have to say that the temperature is okay this one is not burning or anything so it's working like I said before I think the project is valuable I'll, uh, I'll be back later with some more details improvements results and tests that's it for now please subscribe and push like until the new projects hope you well be safe bye bye